or else you can't work with it, right? Yeah. If it stays hard, it's just gonna break. So you guys will soak yours in water, but this time your pieces, sorry, you can start <laughs> Okay, so your pieces, you're gonna rip them into about half an inch to an inch pieces. So just like that. You can guess, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? So you wanna probably do all this before you start braiding these into here, okay? So in your bags, you have about 35 pieces of corn husk. Um, it should be enough for your head. If it's not just, you guys know where to find me. Um, I have more. Okay. So I'm just gonna do a few right now. Um, what I do after everything is soaked, I take it out and I put it on a towel just so when you're working with it, it's not completely soaking wet, okay? It's just wet enough that you could work with it, okay? So I'm gonna take my raffi again. So this is the part that I want you guys to watch. Um, so when you guys are braiding, you're taking the outside and you're putting it inward, right? The outside inward, some people braid the other way, but that's fine. So now I have this opening and I have one out here and then two here, okay? So I'm going to take about, I take two pieces of corn husk, and what I try to do is I set them up as an X so that it's easier for me to grab while I'm braiding, because I don't want to braid and then grab from here and like do all this. So I set mine up so it's ready to go. So I'll do a couple. So this is it's like when you cook and you prep your ingredients, right? Sorry. It's true. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take my braid. And so I have one that's here, and then I have two where the outside's going to go in the middle. So what I'm gonna do at this opening is I'm going to take my corn husk, my little X. I'm gonna push the center down in the middle and the braid that was going to go on the inside is going to go on the inside still, but it's gonna cover the corn husk. Okay. Uh. So now I have this piece. <laughs> and then I'm going to push up my corn husk so that it's a fold. So I'm pushing it away from me. And then I'm not gonna do my next braid. I'm gonna leave this open and I'm gonna hold it with my other finger, my thumb, and I'm gonna grab a new piece. And I'm gonna put that right on top of the old piece that was folded. Then the braid that was gonna come in next is gonna go over that. Okay. So after I covered the flat one, I'm going to fold what? Fold, away. fold away. Okay, after I fold it away, I'm going to do what? Put a new. Yeah, put a new, someone's paying attention. <laughs> okay, after I put a new one, I'm going to, not a, I gotta braid it in, and then I'm going to do what? Up. Fold it away or fold it up, and then what? Put a new one, and then what? Braid it in, and then? Fold it away, and then? Put a new one, okay? So that's pretty much it. How long are you supposed to soak it for? Um, I don't even soak it that long, maybe like five minutes. Just enough so that it's wet enough. And then um, you guys are gonna end up braiding it all the way so that it can go around your head, which is about 22 inches. And then after you're done with that, you'll braid the other end of it. You'll have extra left over, you can cut that off after you do your braid. But your end braid should also be about six inches, right? So you guys can tie it, okay? If you are having, you can stop recording, Abby. <laughs>